that they barely scraped by with the win. It's been back and forth, trading off who is topping the charts here for the squad. Zek and Aaron, Cryo, everybody really just putting up some solid numbers. I mean, I think this matchup was very interesting because it was in particular kind of defined by the initiator players there uh, between the two Sovas and in particular by Zekin. That closes out Ascent there, but in the future, it's going to be kind of defined by these two players, Zekin and Victor. They're both such incredibly flexible players for their squads. On the next map, they pivot on so over. Adorable. Zekin's playing the Neon. Victor tends to play on the KO there. Here, Victor switching onto a different role. The flexibility is a big part of both of these squad successes, and both both these players have been stepping up, but in particular, I think it's been second that has been the more impressive, particularly with how young he is, how inexperienced he is, and he's still making a show on this stage. For sure. I mean, but just look at the streaks here at the very bottom of your screen coming through. I mean, X, that they start things off, they have a monstrous nine round streak. Can't quite close out the final one there. And that is what stop, starts the, the snowball there for Optic, but they get so damn close, but these crucially timed I'm glad, I'm glad there's a lot of space the marine now, though. Set have been a bit of a difference maker. You can see it being able to slow Optic down. Cycle coming in, talking to the team. He's been able, been able to pump the brakes and really just right the ship when things are starting to go askew. Why is your dog wearing that thing? Uh, she got out. Yeah, thus far, um, well, I think map number so, one could be defined in a way um, by, you know, some of the 